Here's the uh, part of the Pinhoti, the uh, section from uh, from 136 and uh, off, off 136 between Villa and Allen Calhoun of the uh, Pinhoti Trail all the way to Dugout Mountain. 16 miles, guys. Oh, Lord. My feet and back are still feeling it, but it was amazing. I pushed my boundaries. Um, did something I never did. I've never hiked that far before. I know I've got it in me. I know I've got a lot more in the tank. Uh, just got to get stronger. Got to get my recovery time quicker. I'd like to uh, not be so sore the next day, next time. But anyway, without further ado, here's episode, our part two of episode 10. Woo! It was tough. Okay, guys. This is Saturday, September the 5th. We're going to hike from Snake Creek Gap on the Penhody all the way to the Dug Gap session, section, Dug Gap Mountain section. It says it's 15.8 miles. And me and Hawk are excited about it. But Pride here, he don't know what to think. You excited, Pride? Yeah, let's get you measured up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm very excited about this. Uh, they do some weird stuff. We're uh, ready to get our sea legs under us. This is probably the longest hike. If we, when we complete it, it's going to be 15.8 miles. That's the longest hike I've ever done in one setting. But I'm going to go ahead and call it a success. I'm doing it with a uh, hawk, which is special, and pride. So, yeah, 15 miles. I'm excited. Snake Creek Gap, where we're at. Off 136, Highway 136. Here's the uh, thing you got to look at. 15.8 miles. You guys think we're up for it? Come on now. That's faith enough. We'll see you on the trail. This is, you can see, our Ken Cody tie. Hot dog, here we are, guys. On the Penhody. I got a good 30 second delay in this thing. Just shaking. How y'all feeling? Tired. Really? Yeah, Are you really hurting? Uh, I've done it for a while. This will be, I'm gonna count this as part of our section hike because if we're gonna do 15.8 miles, that's counting, ain't it, Tom? If we're gonna do 15.8 miles, this gonna count as part of our section, ain't it? Ladies and gentlemen, I just, uh, I didn't bust my GoPro. My GoPro's still working, but I broke my, uh, little, what's my thing? I was, uh, protected case carrier that, that carries my GoPro.
It's a long way to the top. You on the right road? Okay. How you feeling? Alright. We're on deep in the on to the uh, Penholy 136 to Dead Gap Mountain. We're having a blast so far. The hot rod, I mean, uh, pride. There's Hawk down there getting ready to swoop. Here we are, Hawk, Pride, I guess I'm Gandalf. I don't know how many other Gandalfs they are out on the trails, but I'm sure I'm more majestic than they are. Look at Hot Rod, our uh, Pride running. Go Pride, it's your birthday. Nah. I've seen this movie a time or two. It don't rain on this part. Oh, Hot Rod's pink blazing up there. I said hot rods pink blazing. I myself know how long when you get over 10 miles how rough it is. So I'm in no hurry right now because I know you hit the wall. So I'm going slow. Thank you, Tom Tom. I'm going slow right now. I'm going slow right now. Ain't you? Yeah. Because I know around mile 10 you hit a wall. Or the wall hits you. Or any time I've ever hiked more than 10 miles, that 10 mile mark, that's a big punch in the teeth. GQ. Probably about, I guess, two and a half, three in, something like that. Two and a half. That felt. It uh, 
Been a good hike so far. We got a ton left. So, if we've done two and a half, that would give us Say 16, two and a half, five, six, four, a little bit better than 14, wouldn't it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. 13. Yeah, it'd be a little bit better than 13. I can tell I'm hiking. My math is not great right now. But. I am loving these since the Holy Trail. And Holy Trail. See about the leaves on the ground. We're in fall, but shoot. It's a hot haul for sure. What was the high today? Pride about 90? Yeah. Guys, that's not fall weather. We're about three miles in, I'd say. Rough guess. Rough guess on the rest of the year. Here in about another month. This will be really pretty. Now, I don't know if in another month I would come out this far on this trail because I'll try to hike the other sections. So. But, we'll see. Three miles in and I'm as fresh as the day is long. That made no sense. There's a uh, pride in behind us. Little brother Hawk had to uh, go back. Ain't nothing wrong with that though. At least what feeling today. Yeah. Better that than get 10 miles in and decide you're feeling sick, sickly. So at that point, you're screwed. A little bit over five miles in, I'd say. Still fresh, spry. Uh, I can't think of any other words that mean freshness. But I'm in Cody. We're going from Snake Gap Doug Gap, 15.8 miles. What have I got myself into? Ladies and gentlemen, about five and a quarter mile in. We've seen the first blaze we've seen in a long time. Now, we weren't scared we was on the wrong trail or anything, but it sure is nice seeing confirmation that you're on the thing, Hody. And to think that we still got over 10 miles left on this trail. I love hiking. Something I'm new I'm going to do. I've got a tattoo of a sword on my arm. Take a picture. I don't use You should be able to see it. Okay, guys. That sword there. I'm going to change that. If I can. To a seven playing card. What do you guys think of that? seven of hearts because I tell you the symbolic uh, is that the right word? I tell you the symbolism I guess for me is you know my birthday is seven 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 four and seven is a godly number so seven's uh you know a lucky number so that's what it means to me and hearts 
it represents love, you know, so, you know, in the Bible it says faith, hope, and love. I think it says that. I don't want to misquote my the Bible. But pretty much, in a nutshell, it says love's the most important thing. So. That's, that's what I'm doing. That's, I hope that'll come in the near future because I, you know, I already got a tattoo. I want something different. So what do you guys think? Send me a message. Should I get the seven of hearts covering up that tattoo? Would it be possible? Who knows? Uh, I've had that tattoo since I was 23. An old supervisor of mine started giving tattoos out. And I got that from him. Not a bad tattoo. I have no complaints with the tattoo. It's just not me anymore. 23-year-old David's a lot different than 45-year-old David's. You know. Yeah, yeah. My super sweet, talented editor told me next time I bring her in five hours of footage to come through that uh, there's going to be five hours of footage of her kicking my tail. So I won't test her on that. I shall try to keep it under four. <laughs> I have no joke. I got to limit my my footage because I, you know, I, I can't record every step of the trail. And I'm sure you guys don't want to sit through every step of the trail either. It's a grind for sure. Oh, I took up pretty. Oh my goodness. Embracing the suck. Is that what they say on the trail a lot, Rodney? Embracing the suck. Nice wide trails, man. Ain't it? Nice wide trails. I don't know who's responsible for keeping up the Penhody, but I'm going to tell you, they did a good job. Yeah, especially the uh, amount of mileage you've got to travel on the Penhody. I mean, there is to, to cover. And this place here, I mean, you got a few rough spots, but in the head. What do you expect? 335 miles. Okay, I'm still impressed with how good it's kept up, but this part, been holy people, if you got a line, we'll run through this area. I would do it, but it's way too far back for me to get in here with one. But, winter's coming in, so a lot of this stuff probably going to die anyway, so. I just felt like running. Rodney Pride was my best good friend. I think the miles are making me delirious. Rodney's volunteered to do some karaoke for us. Sing, Rodney. And hot, me and uh, Pride love it though, don't we, Pride? Give us some more miles. I wish it was 25, not 15. How about you? Yeah, we started early as we are, right? Afternoon. So you'd like to do 30 if we started at 6 a.m.? I don't know if I could do I honestly don't know if I could do 30, dude. I've never done. I, I would try it. Well, eventually you'll be able to do it. Yeah. Reminds of that song. I don't know if you guys ever watched Lamb Chop when y'all was growing up. But the song that doesn't end. This is the trail that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. I couldn't resist saying it. You ever heard that, Rodney? Lamb shot? Oh my gosh. Of course, I didn't start watching it until after I was grown. My kids watched it. But apparently, it's been coming out for a long time. 
mile after mile after mile. Will it ever stop? Maybe not. Men, Ben Pride's about eight miles in. We were having the time of our lives. Pride doesn't want to do a scene from Dirty Dancing where I run and he catches me, lifts me up over his head. I said, Rodney, you are crazy. We're not doing no Dirty Dancing scenes in, this, in these woods. But this man right here is crazy. I call him the wild man. I call him the wild man for a reason. Look at him. He's eating that Slim Jim. I'm waiting for Sasquatch to run out here and tackle him. He told me he don't give a dang, though. That's just the way he rolls. But anyway, that's enough of that yammering. I guess me and Rodney will get on up. <laughs> me and Hot Rod's gonna get on the trail. Holy smokes, after sitting about 10 minutes. These old bones wanted to keep sitting there. I guess we're just gonna live here. You reckon? But there ain't nothing like a uh, small little snack and a bottle of water. Fix us right up. Now we feel like people again. I'm telling you. The part I hate about this is all the walking. If it wasn't for that, I would love it. Make me a bud so I can fly off all the way. That's my poor attempt at another Forrest Gump impersonation. Ronnie can sound just like Bubba from Forrest Gump. Bubba, do your Bubba impersonation. You never seen Forrest Gump? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what was Bubba said? Uh, they call me Bubba like one of them old redneck boys. Ladies and gentlemen, men, the pride there. We are nine and a quarter miles into this bad boy. And I can lie to you, my feet are feeling it. Um, but it's not a hard trail, really. I mean, there's a few couple of hard climbs. Um, when you first get down at Snake Creek Gap, it's uh, some hard climbs. And then I guess about the Seven mile mark, you start going up pretty, pretty hard. But after that, it's just been relatively easy. You got to be careful though, because um, you go up this. It looks like an old logging road, kind of. Well, looks like a current road, don't it? Really, just an old gravel road. But um, you're following it along, following along, and it takes a hard left. The trail does, and you would miss it. The hill. Yeah, you would miss it completely if you weren't paying attention. I mean, if we hadn't stopped to get some water and use the restroom, use the bathroom, we would have walked right past it. We just, you know, God was watching out for us. Because I, I, I would have hated to walk another three or four miles out of the way. Because I ain't gonna lie to you, 15.8 miles, round up to 16. I have not hiked that far yet, this will be the first time I've hit those kind of numbers, so, you know, I don't want to tack on an extra two or three on top of that. I ain't ready to do quite 20 yet, but it's in our future. Don't you think so, Pride? 20 miles is, yeah. Old Pride's gotta be ready in about four and a half months, don't you? Yeah, every 29th. Every 29th he heads out for the uh, Appalachian Trail. We gotta get him ready. I gotta be ready for Glacier Peak next year, so. Game time's over for me and uh, Pride there. We gotta step up our game. No more playtime. We're up for the challenge, ain't we, Pride? Huh? That's a, we're up for that challenge, ain't we? Anyway. Yep. That's our philosophy, anyway. Well, you got two old men out here hiking 16 miles today. Anyway, I'll pick back up here in a little while. Are you sure, Pride, that Penhody's not uh, a creek word for whoop your tail? She's our Penhody. So, I think it might be Devil Child or something, Creek. The old Creek language. We are feeling it. We're a bit of ten and a half miles in. Rodney, why did you talk me into this? 
<laughs> that was my idea. Huh? I was wanting to do the Alabama leg. 13 miles, get that out of the way. But, I mean, I'm not disappointed with this hike. I've definitely pushed my limits today. And that's a good thing. Woo! That's my Rick Flair, y'all. So I was talking to uh, Pride a minute ago. He informed me this is where they filmed Brokeback Mountain. And I said, how in the world do you know that? <laughs> he didn't. I just made it up. Uh, we've had a heck of a time on the trail. You tired yet? Yeah, at this point in the game, we're too far in now. We're, uh, we're in, in it to win it. How many miles have we gone so far? Oh. Yeah, we're right at 11 miles. We stopped to refuel, get some water, fix our shoes, because you wouldn't believe it on this trail, but this trail we get all kinds of uh, rocks and debris stuck in our shoes, don't we? I think I've got half the trail in my left shoe I already did earlier. So. I, I was listening to Rodney sing one day, and I said, dude, you do a perfect uh, Randy Travis impersonation. And he said, David, Randy, Randy Travis does a perfect Rodney Carroll impersonation. I said, that's a good point. Yeah, I'm talking out of my head now. Ha. I, I think I'm just delirious at this point. Going downhill always stinks because you know you're gonna be going back uphill. Some of the downhill I want to see is to the car or not. Down there, there, there. Embrace the suck. Feels a lot more than that, though. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it was a monster. We went from Snake Gap Creek, or Snake Gap, Snake Creek Gap to uh, Duck Gap. Duck Gap Mountain. Holy smokes, guys, that was a hike. Will I do it again? Maybe in a different circumstance. <laughs> okay, guys, we just finished the uh, in Hody from 136 Snake Gap to uh, Snake Creek Gap to Doug Gap Mountain. It says 15.8, but it is over 16. It had to be. It was the most intense hike I've done yet. Um, I never did above 13. It was my high before 13, maybe a little bit above 13. Um, I'm drained. But I feel good. Proud of myself. That's the most I've ever done. And Glacier Peak is 16 miles, so after doing that, I know I can do it. 18 I, miles. 18. I think me and Ryan made a wrong turn too with there, maybe. I don't know. Uh, we but uh, it, I'm wore out. Hawk went pretty far with us. Chester went pretty far with us. I wish I had Chester, but she, she don't want to be filmed right now. I'll get her tomorrow. Anyway, had a blast. It's late. Um, I'll say more about it tomorrow, but it was intense. Very, very intense. I loved it. If you guys want to do it, I, I highly recommend doing it. Just be sure that you... Now, I'm, I'm not a really... My fitness level ain't really high, but uh, be sure that uh, you got a little bit of a decent fitness level because it's a long walk. Bring a lot of water. Bring a lot of water, yeah. We ran out. I ran out. I had four. I had four. Yeah, I'm going to have one. Next time, I'm going to have five or six. Yeah. Anyway, guys, had a blessed day. Uh, thanks. 
thanks to Chastity, Hawk, and uh, uh, our pride, yeah. Well, guys, that brings all this up to a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed watching episode 10. Man, I had a blast. I got 10 weeks of this. Golly, that's amazing to me. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Hawk, Robert Durham, my little brother, Pride, Rodney Carroll, uh, Dale Stratton joining us in this week's episode, Daniel Cervantes. Um, hopefully, we'll have more hikes with these guys. Uh, even though Stick wasn't in it, he helped me with my diet. Again, I mean, I bounce stuff off of him, so he's always big in this, my, bro, my Rogers. You know, like always, Chasty, thank you for taking the time to edit this stuff for me and put it together. Anyway, if you like these videos, be sure to like and subscribe, and God bless you guys.